Hey guys, it's Ben here from Strength Factory and I want to talk to you today about head position in the gym when we're lifting, when we're doing bodyweight exercises and things like that. This is something that I spend my life trying to drill into the people I coach here face to face and it's something you'll see across all of my instructional videos for all of my exercises is this focus on your head position and how your neck is. Now, let's ask you a question here. I'm going to show you two ways of deadlifting side on. I want you to have a think about which one you would do and which one you think is correct. So you can see two versions there. The first one is with my neck nice and long, my chin tucked in. So I've got this basically as if I've got like a neck brace on, okay? Wherever my body goes, my head goes. And then the second version is like this. Head cranked back here, trying to lift the weight with the head and a big angle in the neck there. Now, hopefully you realize that the first one is what you're supposed to be doing. But I bet if you did a video or looked yourself in the mirror, when you're deadlifting, when you're doing press ups, and doing loads of it, anything bent over, I bet you're doing this, okay? And it's a really bad habit. We want to take that tension out of the neck. So what I want you to think about is whenever you're training, unless it's you know, some random exercise that's very specifically needs something different, you want to th imagine that you've done a whiplash claim and you've got a neck brace on. So when my torso goes, my head goes. If I go forward, my head goes forward. So here, my head goes where my torso goes. And that way, we keep a nice straight spine. Because you know, if you're doing a deadlift or a squat, hopefully you're paying good attention to keeping a nice flat back, okay? Or, if you're being more correct, a flat straight spine. And your neck is a continuation of your spine, and that should continue that straight line. That's gonna help you to lift pain and injury free and it's also going to help you to lift greater weights because when you crank your neck up like that your body is not going to let you lift as much weight if you want any proof after this video hit google uh, hit youtube and put in eddie hall 500 kilo deadlift and you'll see he's pulling one of the you know pulling 500 kilos off the floor and he's not doing it like this he's doing it with his head sat on his shoulders here his neck long and everything's set. This is the same for everything, okay? So if you do a bent over row, you see people, and instead of being here, set, they're like this. And they're rowing like that. And it looks stupid, and it's bad for your neck, and it's bad for your form. Your shoulders aren't gonna work properly. If you're doing a Romanian deadlift, or a single leg Romanian deadlift, sort your neck out, pack your chin down, lengthen the back of the neck. Same with a press up, you see people, you know, as I come down, my nose wants to be just off the floor because my head is in the correct position. I don't want to do press-ups like this, trying to look up there for whatever reason. So, head position is super important. These days, everyone's struggling with bad posture because it's too long on your smartphone, too long driving, too long at your laptop. So, we need to do everything we can when we're training in the gym to train with as good a posture as possible. And that means 99% of the time training with a nice, tall, straight neck. Thanks so much.